Generic greetings and welcome back to Basement once again. So I featured this the other day and a lot of people called for a series which is not uncommon because pretty much every video I ever do has calls for a series. Even the series that I'm doing a series on calls for another series which is very strange. But either way I thought you know what I've got to get up on my schedule so I might as well do it. Only going to be a mini series, only going to be two or three episodes long at best and is still in development as you can see from the uh, bottom left here so it is 0.5.10 and that means it ain't finished yet so there's going to be some problems and we can't really do any of this stuff because the majority of this is tutorial stuff which we can uh, figure out as we go along. In fact, we, we have figured out. It, 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 it tells you the basics, but um, by the time you get to here, you know it all and it's like not very interesting. So we're going to do sandbox. We're going to do a couple of these. The first one will be size medium and without AI. So that's your... Uh, like early basement experience, what they had originally, so no gangs, but there's still cops and uh, generic law enforcement to deal with, and uh, your objective is to sell, essentially sell stuff, so that's what we'll do, so let's just go to play and see how it goes. So this is our basement, first thing we do is get up a grow room, we'll go to build and actually no, we'll go for a selling room first. There is different ones here, and I don't know what they mean, because like this one require, takes some energy as you can see. But uh, they all take some sort of energy. But they also have like the maximum number of customers as well as income. Like that one has income zero. So what the hell does that mean? Does it mean it doesn't have any stock income? I really don't know. Either way, let's go for um, that one there. There's different dealer rooms. I really don't know what they do. Does it sell different colours? Uh, who knows? Anyway, so we've got that up and running. Let's go to build room and build a generator up the top. And then we'll hollow out this bit down the bottom because I want to also build a green grow room, which you can see the price and such. We could go for brown and those such things. You know, we're going to go for green. And we'll have a storage facility there. And then finally we need a locker room so we can then hire people. So we need to hire um, two people first off. One to grow and one to sell. So we're going to go for good production people. So Greg, you can come along. And also someone that can sell. I will go for Bonnie. And they've got production. You, It, it is sometimes uh, more advantageous to get someone with a lot of damage to sell. But um, I always go for the grow for some reason. Anyway, hi guys. There they are and they're going to move along. And one goes downstairs and uh, starts the the business of the day. So, on the left hand side we've got a gang by the look of it which is interesting. AI is turned off so we shouldn't have these attack uh, other areas. Uh, this is like a, another dealer as you can see. Nothing really in there. This is where we've got cops and they've got a stash. That's a squat there. The big dealer, we've got a lot of cops in there as well as a garage. We've got more cops here. We've got a courier outlet which is two junkies and an ice cream van. Small office which is aptly named and then we've got another courier office over the right hand side we have another dealer as you can see they've got nothing in their stash however uh, a pusher which has just got loads of stuff and again another dealer room and then wow okay there's a shelter with one two three guys in there looks like the armed as well i think and that's got two ice cream vans and loads of blue so we might go to take them out we'll see anyway let's go to upgrade on the dealer room and we've got cctv allows control of more junkies at a time we've also got a showcase which is 300 uh, costs energy but also gives you more income which is obviously something we are focused on so there we go Let's crack on with that. We're selling at a rate of one to one, so we're producing as much as we're selling, I think. Uh, we'll go for, um, no, we actually won't build room, we'll hire. No, we can't because we're maxed out. We'll upgrade then. We'll upgrade to additional employees, another locker, and then we'll hire someone who's good at damage. So, Eddie, there you go, 6.8, and not a great amount of health when you compare it to someone like Tina, but um, we're going for damage. There you go. And then what we'll do, upstairs, we'll go to build room and we will have, make sure we've got a heal room, make sure we have a break room, and then finally we want, mm, we don't have it, uh, we'll have to upgrade our generator then, so there's the generator upgraded. We'll have to go for, I think, a training room, do we have a training room upstairs? Yeah, we'll go for a training room, and then we can assign you to the training room like so, and then they'll be able to train. You can actually upgrade it as well, which is additional training equipment that allows, uh, and a few bottles of steroids makes anyone bull, so it costs energy, doubles the training, and increases stamina by two. Let's go for that then. So, they're going to start fighting, as you can see. So, they're just punching the bag. It's not like punching the meat like in Rocky. Oh, Adrian! And I was not, it's Adrian or Pauly. Adrian's his uh, girlfriend. And Pauly's the uh, the hunched over guy with a cigar. He's a wrecking machine! I think that's right, anyway. Or is Pauly the, the guy that works in the show? I don't know. It's ages since I've seen Rocky. Like, probably, probably eight or nine years ago. Good film, if one I remember. 
Uh, how do we get on with that? Oh yeah, the guy's punching there, and he's also drinking stuff. Drinking stuff while he's there. That's interesting. Uh, we'll go to build room again, and we'll get a. Well, we haven't got actually. I just realised we haven't got an area to store cash. We should probably do that. Let's go for. Is it there? That money storage. Yes, we'll get that, and then we can actually store the monies because I don't know where else it would be putting it. Um, we can also upgrade this grow box here, and you've got things like fume extractors and stuff like that. What we probably want to go for is some um, research, and we'll have this as just our green outlet, and then we'll go from there. It's got like, you know, some strategy elements when it comes to um, uh, managing the managing the like the economy of it. It's also got like moving your people around as well as the research stuff, so it's uh, got a lot in it. I uh, I really wish they would progress on with the development a bit more though. It's been quite a while since any great update, and um, there's a certain point. I think they're active on the forums and have read a couple of things where they're saying, "Oh yeah, we are progressing," blah blah. But um, this comes to a certain point where, as someone who has the game and you know bought it and things like that, you go, "You know what? I don't actually care for excuses anymore, regardless what they are. If it's been months and months and months, I just want a bit of, a bit more game, please. You know, <laughs> it only goes so far." Um, all down individual individual preference, obviously. Uh, let's go to build room again, and we'll go for an employee room here, and then we'll hire another couple of bruisers. Uh, looking like Ronaldo's coming with us. There we go. And I'd like to assign him there, but we cannot because we just don't have the uh, the gear. What I'll do is, can we take over this dealer? I think we can. I don't think there'll be any great problem here. So we'll go for um, you and you. And we'll attack it, and they're going to go over and start fighting this dealer here. And then that'll give us the little uh, the little scooter, that'll whiz back and forward. Even though we've got this like weird 70s British Leyland van, <laughs> I'm sure we can uh, manage it. So I don't know why we need this. But anyway, now that we've got that, what will happen is that um, someone will go here to sell. And in fact, we'll, sell, we'll send you there. No, that wasn't the right person. Well, it was the right person. Okay. So, yeah, we'll send them there, and then they can start selling. What will happen is they'll have stuff from here, and they'll be brought back and forward on the back of the bike, back of the bike, as you can see. So, we need to bring our other person back, which is currently free. We'll move them there. They are currently damaged, so they'll be able to uh, come in, go and sit down a bit, uh, lie on the gurney, get some uh, health, and then start training a bit more, and then we'll swap out with this person. So, we've got um, some more junkies there. We might upgrade that with... Oh, we can't upgrade that because I... Yeah, well, A, we don't have the money, and B, I don't think we've got the lecky. I don't think we've got enough electricity. But we do have a good amount of things here. We've got some um, stash, money area, garage. We've also got locker rooms so we can hire more people. So, you know, this is a fairly nice area. So, in terms of growing, we are not... I think we're going to start going down, so we'll have to increase our... We'll probably have to increase our production a bit. But the problem is energy. 20 or 20, yeah. So we need another generator. I mean, that's not a problem. There you go, sorted. In terms of upgrades, we've got produce faster but uh, produce faster but rest more due to fumes in physical activity. That's the intensive production upgrade, which gives you production times two. We've got this one, chemical reactor, which is energy in production 1.5. New chemical reactor allows things to be done a bit faster, but it doesn't fatigue them as much. Then you've got a fume extractor, which is comfortable conditions for employees. Vents uh, remove fumes. Employees get tired much slower, so that means they work. I think we'll go for the middle ground. We'll go for the chemical reactor, because that A sounds cool, and B... B, uh, let me just put this guy in the gurney. And B, it doesn't fatigue them out anymore, which is useful. So, we should have enough now to upgrade and get the chemical reactor. And does it change the look of it? Uh, yes, it does look. It's got like a thing around it. Like when you compare it to the other one, I mean, like that one, where it's just a. It's got like the grow lamp on the top and stuff like that. And then we've got, uh, we've got the acid kitchen, dope stall, and Adam stand. Hmm, look at all these. These are all. Um, Absolutely off the head. I don't know what sort of place this is supposed to be, but I'm guessing it's a bit rough. Just, I mean, I'm not judging the place. I'm not judging this this location. I don't know what the situation is, whether it be economic, political, uh, really, or uh, geographical, or just um, everybody's a junkie from birth. I really don't know. I, I don't know what the deal is, but uh, I 
don't think I... I don't think I'd want to live in there. Is all I'm saying. So, looks like there's something on the floor there. It's just been left. I think this guy dropped it. Did he just drop it? No, no, it's been sold. Um... Yeah, he just puts it down there. Right, that guy's saying bye. Yes, yes. So, we're prof money's going up. Um, we'll upgrade with a CCTV. Oh, we can't. Why can we not? It's because I've already got one. Is that is that why? I can't imagine. I think that is the case. Yeah, you can only have one. You can only have one. Okay. I thought you could get more than one upgrade. Doesn't make much sense, I guess. Yeah, you think you'd be able to upgrade some of them, but ah well. Right, so we've got good profits. We've got that guy training, selling over there. Um, that guy's sipping booze. We'll upgrade that with a fancier area to relax on. We'll do the same thing over this side. I probably should have done this side first, actually. We'll max speed it out and upgrade better sofa. Like a nice recliner or something like that. Um... But that means that our uh, couple of employees here... Are you maxed out in... Yes, you are maxed out in health and stamina. Wow. So you're free. You can go over there. And then someone can... You're moved back to there. So the person that was over here originally... I've moved over because obviously they're now better. We want to train them up. We want to train these two guys up. Um, what I do want to do is build a... I'd like to build get an item shop. But I don't know if it's worth it or not. The next area we're going to take over is this pusher because there's loads of stuff there and it means we can just grab that and move on. That'll be quite good. This one we don't need to do much with. Um, we probably need to go for another grow room though. So we'll do that and also hire another employee although we can't just yet. So we'll upgrade it to another locker. We can't. We don't have... Do we not have the energy? No, we don't have the energy. Now we have the energy. But obviously that isn't producing anything because we haven't got anyone assigned there. So we have to upgrade these lockers first. We had, we had 200, but uh, you have to pay your staff, don't you? So that's why it went down. So we'll upgrade that. There we go. And then we'll hire. Only hire once we've got about 300, because we the minimum is about that anyway. But uh, yeah, I know a lot of people were asking about the game and stuff, and uh, <coughs> saying they were been looking for people who did playthroughs. It was quite... I don't know whether it was kickstarted the game. I can't remember whether it was kickstarted or not. I know it came out a couple of years ago, though, in early access. Um, I remember featuring it at least two or three times back then. And, um, you know, I thought, it was, you know, I, I like the subject matter. Um, the fact that it is, like, you know, an underground type thing that you're going for. Um, and it's, you know, after watching things, like, I, I, I like The Wire. I think it's a fantastic show. And um, it covers a lot of sort of stuff, like these sort of underground... Um, the gangs and drug trade and stuff like that, and um, and obviously this is like the Breaking Bad simulator, isn't it? That's what it's. I think that's what it's trying to go for. But um, I guess the problem with that is, uh, what's your production? Your production, Rebecca. You're gonna get hired. Um, the problem with that is that uh, you generally want to release around the same time as the show's still in existence and don't delay it for ages, which is sadly what seems to have happened. But anyway, um, yeah, it always interested me the. Uh, the idea of the game and the subject matter. Move here. Let's move someone over there. Uh, and then we'll attack the pusher. So, free and selling. So we'll attack with the used two. And this shouldn't take too long. Um, yeah. <laughs> One punch. One punch. That's all it took. Uh, so we're going to move people back to there. So we've now got three areas where we can... Uh, Three areas where we can um, sell from. In fact, what I'll do is I'll move them all back. I'll move them all back, like so. And then I'll hire other people. Because, as you might have seen, and I'm just looking for someone with good damage. 5.1 for Yeah, you're good. Um, as you can see, these here, these are, um, they've got their own They've got their own employee room. So we can just hire other people. Oh, this one hasn't, sorry. But we can build in here. Um, can we build an employee room? No, I think we. I don't think we can. Um, let's max it out so you get a bit more cash. Um, we'll send Eddie over there. I don't think we'll be able to build it because we won't have the energy. No, slots plus two. We will. We will. Once we've got this, we'll be able to hire another person. So that's fine. 
But that's selling there, that's selling there. Um, production is off the scale, actually. Look at that, it's really, really good. Um, probably need to upgrade the van at some point. Uh, plus one service, but it needs three energy. What can we do? What can we do over here? Well, the problem with this is that we can't really... We can't really upgrade that because we'll have to sell this. Although, we should we should be able to sell that because this gives us the extra people, which is six of six, whereas that one increased it. Yes, that's fine. So we can have a, um, a generator there, and then we can upgrade to another truck. So we should be able to buy another truck, which is... You can get whatever you want here, so you've got um, different speeds and stuff. And because of where we're working here, I think just another one of those will be perfectly fine. Another scooter. Because we're not going for high capacity here. The scooter can only bring one or two. Is it one? It might just be one. But that's okay. It's good speed. Right, do we attack this? Attacking this will be a massive advantage. But, there's also a lot of people there. Why is that guy not going on the on the bench to rest? There we go. So that's upgraded, and that isn't upgraded, but it does require three energy, so I can't do it sadly. This one will upgrade with oh, we can upgrade it with a fume extractor. We also can't have another generator. Wow. Uh, we'd have to hollow down. We'll have to go even further down, but I don't think that's what we wanted. Oh no, we're gonna have to go down. Just hollow this out and we'll build another generator. I also really want to get a research facility up and running. I think an item store first though. Because item store allow me to equip different people. Um, let's go to the item store. You see all the stuff we've got. So you've got uh, latex gloves which increase production by a little bit. Helmets, things like that. We do want a kniff. Wipe the butter off the kniff. And then we'll be able to attack. So, we'll buy a knife for 300. Um, it's weird. That, the thing about this game is that, obviously, it's the, the subject matter and like, the way it goes about things. It's always like, I play it and go, oh, that might be a bit, a, bit, a bit off, a bit off for people, maybe a little bit edgy. But then I'll happily play things like Rainbow Six Siege where I'm running around with a machine gun blowing people's heads off and I won't think anything of it. And I don't know what's worse. <laughs> I know there was a comment on the last thing saying, oh, the subject matter, uh, listen, oh, it's a bit, um, it's a bit strong, isn't it, this game? I'm thinking, um, there's Battlefield videos all over and you're driving around and blowing stuff up with tanks and stuff like that, like, which, which is worse? <laughs> you know? It's like, where, where do, where, perspective, perhaps. Um, Right, so I'm going to equip that. I'm going to move you over there. And we're going to send Anna over there as well. So we're going to move all three people, or all three of our bruisers, to the pusher here. And once they're all in, we will then attack this. There's three in there. We are fully trained up, or the mo we're mostly trained up. So we'll attack one, two, and three. There we go. So those three were mostly trained up, and two of them are armed. And it looks like he's taken one green with him as well. Um... Fine, okay, if that that's your decision. So there's one gone. Oh, no, there's actually a couple there. I didn't know. And they're gone. And we've got skill brochure and glasses. So, we've managed to take all of that, and they've got all of this blue. But, what we need to do is move back. Um, all of these can move back because we need to get some uh, health. And we'll actually upgrade that with a extra health um, bonus machine type thing. So once they're over there, I'll max speed out here to get them all healed up. Uh, most of them are going to go upstairs and lie on the gurney a little bit. There you go. And once they're done, they'll go downstairs. Uh, look, for some reason, the, the gurney's a bit broke. They don't want to lie on it, the medical place. So we'll send uh, you over there. And we'll send... Not you. You over there. And then Anna... We'll train, because she's the one that hasn't trained yet. Okay. So storage is maxed out by the look of it. Uh, not enough storage space. Yes, you're right. There isn't enough storage space. Right, what I'll do, I'll hollow this out then, and I will build 
a research center so I'll put someone down I won't put I'll take them off the research and um, this allows us to um, start like some research in different colors and it gives you bonuses based on what you've researched it could also give you negatives I believe I think it can give you negatives or it might be say like more addictive but make them more violent so you can charge more money but also they can kick off which is obviously not something you want but the advantage here is we've taken over one two three areas now this one's going to be the more difficult one. This one shouldn't be very difficult. Looks like research is done, so let's have a quick look at the research there. And this is increase the price by 10, exploding minus 5, and aggression goes up. Okay, so we'll start another more, we'll start more research because the price is going up here. Let's see how it goes. Hollow this out. This is our basement pretty much max now. And what are the rooms could we have we've got a library which is uh, increase your productivity we don't really need that treadmill increases your stamina and i don't think that's i don't think there's anything else we really need to be quite honest with you um i do want to upgrade this however with a showcase which increases your income there we go and this one doesn't need to be upgraded although if we put a generator in here there's a bad trip somewhere hang on Yep, the fighting, look, the fighting. And I think he's settled down now. There's now a 5% chance that that can happen. Which is not good. Let's send them up there. Although, is that glitched out? There's something weird going on there, and I don't know what it is, look. There's like a couple of people around. Oh, yeah, that's weird. You see that? That was very strange. Um... So we're going to have to hire someone else because someone just got taken out. So we'll get someone that's a bit more of a bruiser. So Doris. There you go. And you can... Um, she says, let's cook. No, I want you to I want you to sell. I want you to sell. So she's going to se sell. Yeah, so she's selling. This person is researching. Then we're cooking there. And then we've got loads of blue, you see. But we're not making blue. We're just taking it from here. So once that's done, it's not really going to matter. So we've got two ice cream vans. There's the ice cream van there. There's another one somewhere. Um, there's one and there's one. There are two ice cream vans, and we've got two cars as well. Uh, two um, bikes that go about. So, we're going to say, you're selling, you're selling, and you're training, but you can all attack this area. Because honestly, I think we'll be able to attack this and take it over pretty quickly. One, two, yep, that's taken over. You know what, I'm just going to go, I'm just going to keep going. All three of them are going to keep attacking. So, that's taken over. There's the cops, and... Bump there's that taken over. We also got a skill brochure, which I haven't assigned to anyone. You can click on them and equip them with a skill brochure. Hang on, like that. Um, and you can see it says uh, skill brochure, fully self improvative brochure. Damage, XP, health, production, stamina. Just so, yeah, you just get more stuff. There we go. Um, do I want to attack another area? No, because it's full of cops. So that's bad. Um, let's move back over to here and max it out. And shift over. Can't underscore train, apparently. There was something going up there. I'm guessing because they're maxed out. They are now still in still in need of some health. And now they are sorted. Right, okay. So that's enough to attack with, I think. Do we want to attack here? I think we might be able to take them on. One, two, three, and four. Let's attack with what we've got. I think this will be enough. One's gone. Two's gone. I don't think it's going to last much longer, this. Three. Four. Yeah. And we've got a pistol as well. Five. And six. So that's... We've now got purple in there. Okay. Right. That's a big... That's a lot. But to be honest with you... Because of how bruisery we've gone... Um, I don't think it's going to be, I don't think there's going to be much more here. Because I can equip a pistol, I can equip a riot helmet, I think there's some others as well. Um, have we got, have we got another pistol? The problem here is that there's so much, so many people about, I, I don't know which one. There we go, pistol. And some goggles, which increases production, nah, it doesn't matter. But we've got so many people now that we can just attack the rest of it I think I think this one is a fair gone conclusion yeah yeah that's a win that's a win can you hear the gun going off 
I'm going to leave this one to the last moment. <laughs> I could go back and heal them, but what's the point? There's only a couple of junkies around here, but... There we go. And then finally, the last one. And... Contact. Gone. And that's it. Done. Uh, research done. I know it's shouting at me for ages, but to be quite honest, I'm not bothered. Uh, we'll just apply that. As you can see, we have all of the bottom done. So we've taken out pretty much every single area. So one, two, three, four, five. Hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve areas. There you go. Not bad. Quite easy, in fact. Um, obviously, with the, without the AI, it's uh, not too bad. And we didn't get any cops, no police or anything like that, which was interesting. I don't know why, but I'm just it's not complaint, just an observation. So in 41 days, we've managed to take over the entire street. Or whatever this is supposed to represent. Either way, we are going to leave it there for this episode. Uh, next episode, we will start again. This has been our nice little test one, and... Um, good to try out but the next one we're going to do is a one i wouldn't be a large but we're going to go for medium map again but we'll put the ai on and we'll have to be a bit more aggressive but also i think we'll not go for green we'll go for something else we'll have to go around and see what we can do but um something a bit more hardcore perhaps anyway as always hope you enjoyed the video thanks very much for watching take care and generic partings